hello and welcome to what I'm prepping today and a candy experiment. So today I did a video on um, my freeze dried batch of Osage orange powder. So that is, that was the biggest thing I prepped today. Um, but I tell you all the time that I like to do 20 bags at one time because my oxygen absorbers come in a pack of 20. And although I could just go ahead and use them and reseal the bag like I did here with this one, um, this isn't, uh, I don't know if these are going to be good when I take them out. So I don't like to do this. And I did this this day because I was in a hurry. Other people would uh, seal them in a, um, a canning jar and I could do that, I suppose. But anyway, so what I'm doing, what I did is I did ended up with what, 12 bags of Osage orange powder. And so when I was at Aldi today, I bought two of these lower sugar variety packs of oatmeal because my grandson likes oatmeal and well, I do too. I just don't need a lot of it, but I like to give him the lower sugar ones. And instead of buying a bunch of different flavors, I love the variety pack. So what I actually did was I picked up two of these and I think they're like $2 a pack, which is a really good deal. And those are pretty good. And I went ahead and did this. I put two of each flavor in a bag because, and then I'll put an oxygen absorber in there and seal that up. And then those will all go in a bucket. And then after I seal that, I trim the top off. So what I'm thinking is um, when we open these, if we don't have a separate bowl, I I will just trim the top off and maybe be able to eat it right out of the pouch. Uh, I left them in their paper pouches, but then we could dump them in there and add the water in there uh, and eat directly out of the Mylar. And I do believe I would only do that if I didn't have a bowl. But normally I would have squished these into um, the the Mylar bag and, and just trimmed it to make it real uh, small for storage. These ones I left a little large. And I may take a large bag and just put a whole box of those in there, you know, just for more storage because this will eat up the uh, oxygen absorbers. But now, as I said, I was at Aldi. I was also at Walmart today and Walmart had their um, candy, Halloween candy, half off. And I thought, eh, okay, I'll pick something up because, you know, my son likes a certain thing. My daughter likes a certain thing. Everybody likes something different. So I just looked for small, specific packs of what they liked, and I picked that up. But when I went to Aldi, <laughs> there was everybody at Walmart. Couldn't wait to get to Walmart to get their half-off candy. Aldi had their Halloween candy, 75% off. I got this huge bag for, I think it was $2.00. So I did get that. Now, what I'm going to do with all the candy that I picked up is I'm going to make little packets of them. And I got this idea off of a YouTube video um, to do this. There was a, a, a man and there's another channel who a woman does it. Uh, they test old MREs. They'll make the food and they'll eat it right there. And the expired ones. And so what I'm actually going to do, I'm thinking, you know, if Uncle Sam put the candy in an MRE and somebody's eating it 30 years later, I'm going to take a couple of each of these candy bars, put it in one of these um, half gallon bags, seal it up, and I'm going to make like maybe, I don't know how many I can do, 10 of those bags. And in a year, I'm going to try one. I'm going to open it up and maybe do it live. And we'll try it after a year. And if they're bad, well, then I'll throw the rest of them away. But if they're good, then the next year, I'll try them again. And I'll, maybe I'll be able to actually just label them, try in a year, try in two years. You know, just to see how that works out. But yeah, that's um, what I prepped today. Uh, two boxes of the 
Variety Pack Instant Oatmeal. It's going in Mylar. The 75% off and some half off candy from Aldi and Wally World. And my 12 packs of the uh, Mal Maclora, Mac Maclora Pomifera, the Osage Orange. So that's it for today. And um, everybody, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and be blessed. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me know in the comments, what are you prepping today? And tell me if I'm crazy for uh, packing up that Osage orange powder. And do you think the candy's going to work? And how long do you think the oatmeal will last packed in its paper in the Mylar? Okay, after you tell me your opinion on all of that stuff and then let me know what you prepped today. Be blessed.